How you doing today? My name is Jeff Ray, featured guest host here with Weld.com. Back up in the lab, I'm doing a follow-up video to the sanitary series. Uh, I'm gonna go through spinning out some parts, so let's get at it. So these are some of the components you'll usually see when spinning parts out. Usually spin out a lot of ferrules, valve bowls, 90s, reducers, whatever it may be. You'll need your dual regulator because you're gonna purge this stuff as well. You can use a holder piece which you just spin in the bench. I also have a quick disconnect piece that I clamp in the bench as well, and that allows me to just spin the part. You can also utilize a purge block tree where you'll spin it in the horizontal. As well as, if you're out in the field, you can also load your pipe rack with pipe. If you need to do so in the field, you can spin the parts out in the rack. I've done so before, it really helps production. That's why I spin parts out. All these things here would be something that I would spin out in the bench. And I'm gonna go through the couple of different ways you can spin these parts out in the bench. I'm gonna take this T here and demonstrate three different welds with these inch and a half ferrules here. So I'm gonna get suited up, get this thing tacked together. Let's get at it. All right, we got all our ferrules tacked on our T here. Got the purge already going, flowing about 20 CFH. We've had a lot of requests with the aluminum foil, so we're gonna go ahead and put that to the test here today. We're gonna utilize the Everlast Power TIG 255 EXT. We got it set on DC, high freak TIG start, and set at 45 amps. I found that when welding anything from one inch to three inch, 45 amps is plenty enough. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get fired up on this thing and get it going. All right, we got the first weld done. Everything went well on that. I just wanna go over some things here. With this first weld, I utilized my quick connect piece to allow the piece to spin on the ferrule. The next one I'm gonna show you is utilizing a spool piece. I just wanted to go through some things you need to look at when doing this. The clamp orientation here, giving yourself the room to get between the T and the clamp if so possible. You just always need to look out for things that may be in the way or become problematic when welding things out. Always be aware of your surroundings, whether it's spinning something out or walking around something, you need to be aware of where you're at of all times. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get the second weld uh, clamped up here and get that one on purge and we're gonna walk that one and spin it at the same time. So we're gonna be doing something a little bit different other than just holding the rig here stationary and spinning the weld. So let's get at it.
All right, we got our third weld made here. I went ahead and set it up as if I was using a purge tree and welded it in the horizontal. I'm not a big fan of the stationary torch in spinning pieces. It doesn't give me a good indication of my pace. My preferred method is the walking the cup method and spinning the piece. As you can see, not just from the color of the welds, but the consistency in the weld here. This is my preferred method. Hopefully some of these little tricks can help help with your production as well. So if there's anything else you guys would like to uh, see sanitary wise, leave some comments below. I'd like to give a shout out to Como Caps. They've supplied us with a number of caps. I love the Como Caps. I've used them for years. They're awesome. So head over to weld.com where you can get connected with us directly through the members section, as well as reach out to any of our advisors on the members forum, and they can answer any of your questions. So until next time, I'll see you guys later.